Baby, we're gonna have some fun and a little bit of romance. One thing's easy about this is that you're just gonna cook some nice filet. On the side, we're gonna have some potatoes with some cauliflower. We got nice tenderloins for two. I got new potatoes, also some cauliflower, grated cheddar cheese, nice canned crab meat, just plain canned crab meat, bottle of red wine, and also you're gonna need about a, uh, a can of low fat gravy. So let's get started. First, we're gonna start with our nice tender fillets. You're gonna take like a paring knife or a boning knife and just make a nice incision. We're making a little pocket in here. So you wanna watch your hand and just go in there and kind of make a pocket. You don't want to cut through the, all the meat. You just want to make a little pocket, right at, like a seam. Don't go all the way through. That's all I want to do with both of those. Of course, this is going to be for two. It could be for one. But then we have a nice little pocket. Next, we have our crab meat. Crab meat just goes right in there. Any kind of crab meat will do. The can is cheaper. You can do also some of the stone crab or Alaskan crab that's been chopped up goes right into that filet. Put as much as you want in there. And some of the liquid's gonna come out, that's all right. Sometimes you'll see like a breading added with this with the crab meat, but this is just nice and easy just putting that in there. If you really wanna get decadent, you could also use lobster meat. First, boy, we, before we're gonna cook our filet, we gotta start boiling our potatoes. Also, our cauliflower you can put in there. Starting like cold water, going to bring that up to a simmer. It's going to cook for about 15 minutes before we get ready to start our filet. All right, while the uh, cauliflower and the potatoes are cooking, just spray that pan nice and hot. It's smoking. What you want to do is put in your filet, both your filets. Turn down your heat just a little bit. Season them with a little salt. Nice kosher salt or sea salt, black pepper, even nice crust, fresh black pepper. Now you wanna sear these for about six minutes at least on each side. Then you're gonna turn down your heat and cook it like an additional eight to 10 minutes depending on how well you want them cooked. If you want medium rare or well done. So there we go, we flipped them. You can hit the other side with some nice fresh black pepper. A little salt, let them keep cooking. Now they're getting some nice color on them. You can always move them around a little bit with your tongs. You want to seal the other side of them. Seal that opening side where the crab meat is. Make sure that's cooked all around. Move around a little bit, turn down your heat some. Now you ready for this? Time for the red wine. Mmm. Take that down on the flame a little bit. Add your red wine. So that's going to reduce down, turn up your heat a little bit, and that's nice. That's going to have great flavor in the bottom of the pan there. You can scrape it a little bit. That's that fond in the bottom of the pan that you great flavor from the beef. I'm just going to move that around a little bit and let it keep simmering. Once that red wine is reduced down, we're ready to add our good old quick gravy. Yes, it's a little thick when you put it in. Don't worry about it, it's gonna thin out. Just mix that in there and keep simmering. Notice that sauce is nice reducing down. Then we're gonna put in our nice red peppers, those roasted red peppers. I hope you also made that uh, nice appetizer in the newsletter. Some of those red peppers left over can be used and put also in the sauce here for the filet. Now we have drained our cauliflower and new potatoes. We're ready to mix in our cheese, cheddar cheese in there. Really goes well with the cauliflowers and new potatoes. A little bit of a change, uh, a contrast from your, from your nice uh, brown sauce with the red wine. And I just love the cheesiness in there. That gives it some special texture and also salt and pepper. That cheese is just going to go and melt by itself. And just leave that warm on the side and you're ready to go. All right, here we go with the filet. On the plate, nice red peppers. Get that on there. Then your sauce. Uh, this sauce is great with the red wine. Nice and rich. And here we go on the top. Then we got our potatoes and our cauliflower. 
right next to it. And that just goes so great on the side with that rich brown sauce. Wasn't that easy? I tell you, 20 minutes, you're all set. For two, for one, enjoy. Bon appetit.